what's up y'all just another latest installment in the off season um, just a quick one for you today back workout gonna try and do some deadlifts today see how they feel coming back from a hamstring injury injury which I've redone so I pulled the hamstring yet again um, so see how deadlifts work out but if not I'll definitely be able to do bent over rows now because I gave that a little trial the other week so I hopefully can put a little bit of weight on that and um, that's it just a simple big back building workout today and then a bit of cardio at the end I think uh, feel a bit under the weather no Rona but I'm fine um, enough to work out um, just a bit tickling in my throat and it feels a bit sore on my chest but apart from that I'm fine and got the total wall pre-workout I was cutting my head off the whole time there but total wall pre-workout I'm gonna sip on that because I just brush my teeth I normally have it straight before I go to the gym sorry there's some speed bumps so it's a bit <laughs> yeah big back workout See you in the gym peace what's up good it's been a while since I've done this, uh, recorded this back video. <sighs> Almost a month back in the UK. Uh, before I went back to the UK, sorry. Start of December and it is now the start of January 2022. So recording this audio a month after I've done the workout. So I hope everyone's had a wonderful new year and a good Christmas. Not saying we're back to the grind. I am back to the grind. Been training hard in the gym in the new year. Don't get your foot off the gas and all that good stuff. Um, but here is just a bit of a coasting back workout. Five by five pull-ups from a couple of angles. With the um, oversized T pump cover on. Kind of feeling this outfit if I do say so myself. Um, so I might rep the loose fittings a little bit more loose joggers loose tee cap moving really low key um, as you'll see I'll explain at the end of the video um, this is my first deadlifts back since uh, my hamstring injury um, the one thing I can notice here is I have lost quite a bit of mobility in my back and hips uh, I really used to be able to dip my hips proper low almost parallel to my knees and that's probably what's made my deadlift slack um, a little bit over the years but anyway this is more trying to get into the groove of lifting the deadlift and um, loading it up again it I didn't feel I could go past the plate but I felt my hamstring could take the load of the hip hinge movement. So I move on to a bent over row. First time I've gone heavy on that in a while again because the, the hamstring taking the load. It was quite a bad hamstring pull when I went to see uh, the sports clinic to get a sports massage. They reckon it was a good grade two. Those who don't know, hamstring injuries or graded into three categories, grade one, grade two, and grade three. Grade three normally requires surgery, grade two, a mm, couple of months out, and then grade one is just a, like a little, a little niggle, which would only last for a week to two or three weeks normally, in most case scenarios. Moving on here to the bent over rows with the kettlebells, I've been loving these recently. Um, Gives a completely different weight distribution to target the back. And then moving on to some uh, chin-ups. The ones I did at the start, they were pull-ups. And these are chin-ups. I really feel these a lot more. Um, towards the inner back and the lower back, get more of a pinch on the outside. And then when I feel like doing uh, regular pull-ups, I'm hitting more outside the back for the width. And here we are. I think the last exercise finishing off on some lap pull downs. 
always trying to hyperextend and lean back a little bit. I do a drop set here just to get the burn out on the width of the lats. Um, yeah, always trying to hyperextend and lean back a little bit so I can stretch the lats out a little bit more and get a better squeeze. Coming down, just working out what range of movement works for me the most. But from watching videos, it looks like I need to work on mobility and a bit of stretching. And then to finish off, um, I do a bit of triceps. I do triceps now with my back days and then biceps with my chest days. Because in theory, if you're hitting your chest hard enough, you're already hitting tries hard enough. So it might as well finish them off with a bit of buys. Same goes for back. If you're hitting back hard enough, you should be working your buys hard enough. And vice versa. Yeah, so just another quick angle for you. Training looking good again. Um, this was just a quick one, uh, just to upload to fill the gap of about a month missing. Just been enjoying time at home. Been a lot more relaxed on the uploading and just trying to enjoy it rather than take it so seriously because this is what I enjoy doing. Peace. And that is that for today's session. Um, Nice little back workout for you. Uh, first time doing deadlifts since my injury. So I only got 60 kilos on, but it's just about slowly loading and rehabbing the injury and not doing anything stupid. That's why I pulled it the second time. But I felt a little bit more comfortable on bet over rows and it felt really good to get a bit of contraction overload. And that again, so I'll be doing that a lot more often. All right, just quick one today. Hope you enjoyed. Follow the workout. Peace.